Hey guys, so this is my public restroom experience and I have my got a tinkle fortunately. This is the bag that I have that I keep it in. I got this from the Dollar Tree. You can use Ziploc bags, but I use the only natural pet brand doggy do bag. And I put it on like this and I don't even have to put my bag down. I can just keep standing. I make sure to wear shorts or leggings so there's not a problem with my pants falling down to this gross floor and I stick this between my legs and I pee and then I walk over there I take this bag out of the Gotta Tinkle device it's very easy it's easier than um, taking the Ziploc bag out of it and then you just pour it out and then you come over here and throw out your bag and then you stick your gotta tinkle back in here. By the way, you see that toilet paper? I prefer to, a lot, lot of times, I prefer to use my own toilet paper. You can get this from the gotta tinkle company or you can buy it on Amazon. Now sometimes I do want to take things off and have hanging, but sometimes the restroom doesn't have it. They, they only have that, they don't have a hook. But I bring this, it's from Walmart. You can get it in like a six pack. Um, and I just hook it on there and I can hang anything I want. Now it's time to leave and I don't want to touch that door. So I either use another bag or I have cut up pieces of the bag that I keep in my restroom bag. Hey guys, welcome to my channel here on YouTube. I provide you with how to videos, hacks and videos on very useful products. So if you want to continue to get my content, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so these are the four essentials for my restroom bag. The Gotta Tinkle device, the Doggy Doo bags. I only use this brand, Only Natural Pet, because the other brands have a toxic-like odor. I get these on Amazon and PetSmart. There's the TP, and then this is apparently called a closet hook. I got this in a six pack at Walmart. I think it's like in the laundry aisle or something like that. Um, this is so funny. I, I assumed that this part would go over the bar, but I saw a picture where this part was over the bar. And so they're saying that the rubber stub keeps the clothing on. So it's always easy enough to just pee inside of a cup if we had the room to tote this around in our backpack. But if you do have the room, you can get this at a gas station at like the soda fountain area. Um, this I got at 7-Eleven. It is the Big Gulp Double Extra Large. It's 50 ounces. You can probably get away with the Extra Large, which is the 40 ounces. You can even put, you know, a doggy do bag in here to pee too if you want to reuse this. You can get a better looking one probably at another gas station. Uh, but yeah, so this one is just so small and nice and it fits in like our back pocket. I've had this for three years. I highly endorse it. It is so under marketed. So please in the comment section, tell me what you think. Ask me any questions about it. Um, let me know if you've tried any of the other female urinary devices and tell me if, if your friends or family members ever use anything like this. If you want to check it out on Amazon, the link for it is in the description box and I have a discount code for you if you want to get one straight from the Gotta Tinkle company. Now the problem with using um, like one of the really popular female urinary devices like the the P style and the go girl, you have to go up to the toilet and stand right in front of it. And the spout is so short. I've tried both of them. Okay. The spout is so short that your the front of your pants are probably going to touch the front of the toilet. And there's probably going to be splashing. I can't remember. I haven't used them in such a long time because, <laughs> because the guided tinkle works. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that it's a great video to disperse out to more people so that they get the benefit from it.